Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about the things with you, how can working with the forget password and also how can regenerate your password, right? That means how can reset your password. So now in this video, I want to discuss about that email verification option. That means whatever the user actually created that registration in your site, first of all, you, if you want to make it as a registered, that means if you want to verify that email address, how can do that work in this video, I will show you that things with a live example. So for doing this, if you go to that Laravel official website, like here, I go to that Laravel official website and here, if you go to that documentation, into the documentations, right now we are using Laravel 8 and sorry, <laughs> we are using Laravel 8 and then if you go to that security and the security here, you can see there is an email verification. So if you want to use that email verification, there have some of the things we have to update. Like first of all, that is a model preparation. So in our user model, so into the user model, we have to update it, this part. That means here we have to add this and also we have to implement our must verify email. Okay. So if you use that must verify email, then our this option will be work and then also use as a notifiable. So now first of all, open that user. So right now here we don't need this. I remove everything. Okay. I remove everything from here. So now if you go to our model, that means that is our um, controller and the model and that is a default user, right? So into the user area, if you go and here you can see they have already actually added that must verify email. That means that is a must verify email that is authenticable and the notifiable. Then there is a authenticable. Uh, that is actually the authenticable is already added. The notifiable is already added. So if you don't have this, you actually have to do, you have to actually add it. Okay. So I have already installed it. So by default, you will also get that same. Okay. And then after that, we have to do, we have to use that extended authenticable. After that, we have to use this one. That is a implement, implement as a must verify email. So now I copy it and then after this, you can see that is actually our class extended and after this here, you have to implement your must verify email. So that is the must verify email. So make that sure you add it and also may here there's an instruction for use that notifiable. So I have all by default that is actually use their notifiable. So here you don't need to do anything. Okay. So here we successfully updated that part. Now I just click as a save all and now after that, all we have to do. There is also, there is a database preparation as a PHP Addison migrate. So I have already migrated my file. So here we don't need to do anything. And that is one of the route. Okay. So this is the route we have to do. We have to add in our web route area. So now I copy it. So I simply copy it and now go to our web route. So to the web route, first of all here, I after this, okay. After this, I want to add this. Okay. That means this uh, route, that is a default route you have to add. So I simply add this part on here and now I click as a save all. Perfect. So that's all we have to do. And also in our ENB file, I have already declared that part. I have already updated our mail option. I have put that as a mail trip username, password, and there is our form address, right? So that's all you have to do. Now let's check this out. If you now go your site, so right now we don't need this. So now if you go to your site and now here, Mm, I want to do and to actually refresh it and to refresh it. So our every email, that means if you go to our database into the database, I didn't actually verified any email, right? So now I want to do and logging without this email. So now if you um, put your email address and the password, I have put that password as udemy12345. So I have already set it and now it's actually udemy12345. Click as a login. So now here you can see friend is now showing as a verification dot saying is not defined. That means there I didn't actually enable it. If you go to our, as I told you before, if you go to our, um, that is our config into the config. If you go to that as a fortify and with the fortify here, you can see there is a features for the email verification. So here I didn't enable it. So make that sure you enable this portion. Okay. So now I enable it. That means right now it's enable for our this project as an email verification. Now click as a save all. So now I want to check it again. Go back. Okay. I click as a go back and refresh it. So right now I'm already logged in. So here you can see friend now it's actually display this one. Like I show you if it was a logout. 
and now you log in again and now if you put your appropriate email address and the password if you go here if you refresh it you can see it's not verified so now if you put your appropriate email address and the password in udemy 12345 and now if you click as a login yes you can see friend now it's actually asking you to thanks for sign up before getting started could you verify your email address by clicking this link just email to you okay and if you didn't receive an email you will gladly send you another so that is the reset link so now i want to do and to verify this email address so if you click as a recent verification email click on here now you see friend is now showing as a, a new verification link has been sent to your email address to provide it during registration okay that means right now if you go to your again email tab and you can see there is another email is comes up as a verify email address to a specific this email address right so now if you open it so you can see friend now it's showing as a verify your email okay so here there's a please check this button below to verify your email address so now if you click as a verify email address then it should be redacted to your dashboard directly and also it's showing as a verified as a one that means the one user data so this email is now verified okay and also if you check your database right now so before that was actually now if you click as a browse yes you can see friend now that is actually the verified and when this actually verified is also display this current date so that is the process if you want to add the verification email uh, for your site how can do that work friend i hope it's very much clear to you so make that sure you updated that verification that means email verification you have to update it, that mail trip where exactly this verification mail will be resent and then into the user into the user area here you have to implement that must verification email and also you have to add one of the route so that is also default route you can get that things from to the um, laravel official website okay so here you will get that things from here so that is all the process so friend documentation is very much important but everything is on here but a lot of the students become very confused about it okay so that is the process i hope friend it's now very much clear to you how you can verify your email address so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video